Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome, welcome back to another Thursday, which means it is time for another Nas Watches Beastar Season 2. Oh boy, it begins now. So, at the end of last season, uh, Lagosi and Haru... Uh, so, uh, Lagosi saved Haru from, from the lines, and he kind of, like, like kind of came to terms with his instincts and all that, and, you know... Basically had an Iron Giant moment. You can be anything you want to be. Superman. <laughs> and then Lewis murdered a Lion Man, so that's fun. That's great, that's... So, and it kind of just left off there. And, you know, we're still looking for the murderer, the guy who killed the goat boy in the first episode, but I feel like I know who did it. Uh, but I just, I'm going to see if we can be proven right. Oh, boy. But, yeah, let's get in here and let's see how the season goes, shall we? In three, two, one, and go! This is a, this is a change. This is a this is a change in opening, huh? It's kind of like it, it's kind of like the um, Doro Hidoro opening in a little bit, little bit of way. All right, there we go. And now it's not. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. Is it weird I kind of miss the first opening? Like I like the I like the first opening song better because it's more jazzy and like, you know. And I don't know. I mean this is this looks nice, I'll say that. But I I I don't know, I kind of miss the puppets. I didn't think I would miss the puppets. And now that we don't have them, I'm like, oh man, I miss the puppet. I mean, that's still a decent opening. I just don't like the song as much. Oh well. I'm leaving the season one song on the fucking opening card. You can't stop me. I mean, if so, people's births would have to be picked, like, thousands of years in advance there, my dude. Jeez. Um. <laughs> I love the little, the little, I, is that a, like, I, I think it's not a fennec fox, these are too small. The little, the little rat dog thing sitting on the fluffy boy's shoulder. That moment when you just want to sh share your your hobby with the boys. How many times will the alarm ring until the boy wakes up? Damn, I feel, I feel called out by that title. God damn, I have to set like four alarms. Oh god, is Jack going to die? Is is Jack gonna get murdered? He's not a herbivore though. For Tem. Oh no, Jack, you dipshit. No, just go back to the roof. What the fuck?
Okay, so that's a big snake then. Oh my god, the spotted hyena kid's an asshole. He's great. So his ghost has returned to punish everybody. But why was it making big snake noises then? Ooh. Oh yeah, Lewis is gone, right? I forgot about that. Yeah, friendship. Friendship wins. Go fucking simp, Lugosi, goddamn. And that student lives in the walls. Except for that one time. <laughs> it's not scary because that's when she discovered her love of Vor. <laughs> so, you know, like, if anything, it just made her internet history more scary to anyone who hacks her computer. <laughs> Mostly because I imagine as a small animal, every everything is probably terrifying. <laughs> Are you being bullied, Haru? I'll eat them, I swear to god I will! <laughs> Oh my god. Big red flags whenever your girl's like, no, don't tell anyone we're dating. Like, goddamn, that's some... <laughs> oh my god, Lugosi, you goddamn simp! <laughs> To be fair, my dude, you've been you've been kind of busy, so I mean, I like I imagine it's not you know. <laughs> With the only good actor gone. <laughs> Like, I want, like, it just to come back and be like, ah, yes. Lewis, the head of the lion yakuza. Here to do big crimes. Bold words. 
<laughs> Bold words for somebody in murdering distance. But why is the door open? Oh shit! Grab your phone at least! Jesus! I imagine, like, I imagine, like, a school like this, like, small animals, like that little rat dog thing. Like, just a bunch of big animals, and then just have a bunch of small animals in the same bunk, you know? Like... Big capitalism. Unless it's a poltergeist. Oh! Lugosi can hear it because he's got better hearing than all of them. Because he's a big wolf boy, and the rest of them are just regular-ass doggos. My man, it's been half a year. <laughs> My man, it's been half a year. You can't just walk back and be like, yo, what's up? Ohio gozaimasu, Louis san. Hey, he's still got his leg. God damn it. There goes my idea of him just handing his leg over and be like, here you go. Oh, it's been two months. He's here to steal your bunny wife. I was about to say, like, here's my letter of resignation, asshole. <laughs> Without you, none of us can act worth shit. <laughs> oh my god, he's turned into an asshole. I mean, he was already an asshole, but now he's an even bigger asshole. And now I return to the shadows. What, did they just put, like, a drone or something up there? Like...
No, erase him. Erase him. Delete his existence. <laughs> Riff in peace, Lewis. <laughs> Off you go. Damn, she's still mad about not getting his fat wolf dick. Damn, I can't believe he makes her Kokoro go doki doki. Damn, damn shame. Yes, I know that's cringe. Am I going to stop saying it? No. You are never together, you crazy bitch! God damn! I, I like how he's got like the scar on his fur from the lions. That's really cool. Of course they are. Everyone's doing a big a woo. It makes it easier to sniff their delicious scents. Nom 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 nom. God damn, girl! Holy shit! Yeah? And then she'll have her pick of the litter. The Council of All Living Things! Oh, I wish they- I, I want them to just smash cut to it. I want to see a dumb fish. Hey, Juno's a candidate. Cool. It's like she's actually just a straight up candidate. Which means, which means a cold-blooded creature wouldn't get picked up. My man, everyone's thirsty for Juno except Lugosi. God damn. He's gonna fuck the rabbit. That his path has not changed. He's gonna fuck the rabbit.
and I will scrub the turlet. Joke's on, joke's on you, Lewis. He has dark vision. He could see his, in dim light as if it was bright light. Yeah, there's, there's a big snake. Like, seriously, how can none of the rest of them hear that? Like, how can the hyena not hear it? Jesus Christ, Lagosi! My man is strong. Holy shit! Like I knew he was strong because he's punching out lions, but goddamn, my man is powerful. You can't hear from my powerful doggo ears. I can smell you. Big snake. Big snake. It's a big snake. I don't remember if Beastars has, like, next time and Dragon Ball Z stuff. I don't think it does, but... Uh, I feel like the tone of Beastars has changed quite a bit since the first season. And I'm fine with that, honestly. Like... Uh, ooh, pardon me. Like, you know, like, the first, the first season was very much like a, just a, not a slice of life, but like, hey, we're at a school and weird bullshit is happening. Also, like, we, we have a, a vaguely, vaguely, like, slice of life thing going on, but... God, I wish I was better at moon runes. Okay, so for what I picked up from that, it's like something about a demon... Demon inside or something? Yeah, okay. Like, I missed, like, the first half, and then, like... I got lost in the sauce on that one. Okay. Kind of wish that one had some subtitles, but all right, that's fine. That's fine. And no next time on Dragon Ball Z. Cool. But, but yeah, so, um... Oh boy. Uh, okay, so yeah. So the first episode, so the first season was very much like a <clears throat> not quite slice of life, but a hey, we're, we're here's the school, here's like their daily lives, um, and just kind of just going, kind of just like hanging around and doing their thing, and towards the end, it got like more of like Lagosi, what are you willing to do for your girl, man? What you willing to do for your girl? And turned out that was, you know, beat the shit out of some lions. And there was some, like, you know, there was, there was themes of self, self-discovery self and coming to terms with yourself and, like, coming of age kind of thing. And I feel like there was a little more that could be done with it, but not much. Not, not, not a ton. So 
And plus, you know, we had, like, the whole thing with Tem kind of, like, looming over our heads, so... Converting to a more... I don't want to call it a thriller, but... I mean, I guess that's, like, the best word for it so far, because, you know, we're only one episode in, but... It really does feel like it's more of, like, a, a, a thriller kind of thing, like a, like a, like a, like a psychological kind of thing, you know? It's like... Like, what's going on? Like, stuff's going around. Like, we got some conspiracy shit going. We got, like, you know, like, it's, 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 it's pretty neat. It's pretty, pretty cool, yo. Um, I'm, I'm wondering, it does have me wondering where things are gonna go. I imagine that by the end of the season, we're probably, hopefully, going to find out who the killer is. <sighs> Pardon me. We're gonna hopefully find out who the killer is. You know, we'll have some, uh, some stuff on that front. Um, I'm not quite sure exactly, like, where we're gonna go. Uh, Lugosi still has some growth to do as a person, you know, like, um, like, he's gotta figure out, like, where he stands with, with Haru, and, and I imagine Haru's got some stuff to do, but, yeah, all in all, that's a pretty solid start to a season. It didn't completely just throw out everything from the last season, like, as far as tone-wise, but it's introduced some new themes and, like, progression points that I think are gonna work fairly well, and they're gonna do pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty bueno. Oh, boy. Um, the CG, I don't know if it's, I, 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 I don't know, but, like, it, it looks like it's, it's a little more fluid than last time, which is, which is good, because, like, last time it seemed like some characters were really, really, st were, like, were stiff, while others were, like, way too loosey-goosey, and then, like, I mean, Lugosi and Haru and all that, those were, they were, like, just right. Um, but this time around, it seems like everybody is, every, at least everybody we've seen is, is pretty, pretty good, you know? They're pretty rock-solid, you know? They're not too, like, loose and, like, going, like, but they're also not, like, super stiff, like some of the background characters were the last time. So, hey, that's good. That's fun. They've they've done some they've done some good shit. Um Yeah, I I don't really know what else to say than that. Like show good. Like ki like the the CG kind of works for it and it's kind of growing on me because of the stylization, but I think that's mostly because they're not really <laughs> they're not really jamming in mixed media. <laughs> They, they picked CG as their medium, and they're sticking with it. And you know what? I am fine with that, so... Okay. And it's not like Land of the Lustrous, where it looks like ass, either. <laughs> but, yeah. That's really all I gotta say. So, yeah. Let me know what you thought of this down there in the comments. Whether you liked it, you disliked it, or you want to bring up something I left out. Because that's entirely possible. Oh, mm, boy. And... You know what? Go ahead and say down in the comments who you think the killer was. Who do you think the killer was? Let's see. Let's see if people can figure it out. Because I know who I think, but let's see what you guys think. Oh, boy. Like, I think it's a background character. Like, I don't even have a name for this person, but I can pick him out if I saw him. But, yeah. Um, as always, everybody, remember to like, comment, face, subscribe, share on social media, tell your friends, hit the share button down below, and, uh, yeah, if you want, you can always support me on Patreon, which is linked in the description and on the end card, and, as always, I'll see you in the next video, but most importantly of all, become a trash mammal today, and I will see you a rune